Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a new box. This one is Boho. And look, it is destroyed too. Uh, <laughs> and look at this side too. I don't know what on earth is happening <laughs> with USPS, but I think they're just stacking these boxes and just within an inch of their lives. Hopefully, we see something good. Oh, I see something beautiful. It's lined. It's fabulous. Here, let's go in for any zoom. All right, this is what it looks like. Let's get started. All right, well, let's kick off this box with the bracelets. Usually, Boho has some interesting ones. This one is no exception. All right, this one is a stretched out memory bracelet. It has some beautiful, uh, looks like sodalite pieces. We have some glass and then we have some plastic, but it's pretty stretched out. So I think we'll go ahead and take this one apart for its pieces. Beautiful coral. And this looks like an actual honest piece of uh, very matrixed turquoise double strand. This is a really pretty little piece. I'm not sure exactly what these green stones are. They've got the yellow in them and sort of some almost like a pre-night look to them too. So, you know, I'm not real sure, kind of the mixed bag here. Really, really nice, comfortable looking, uh, you know, either magnesite or the um, halite. Has a great look, nice stretch. Beautiful beads, if you don't like the actual presentation there. Another one, this one has some cute little lightweight charms. Again, you know, some interesting shapes. So if you weren't overall feeling the composition, easily take it apart for the pieces. This one is really pretty, it has the Shambhala closure, uh, looks like the halite, and we've actually had some of these beads before. Yeah, really, really pretty with kind of almost like the inlay slash enameling. So I like that one too. And there was one more kind of in that look. We have the little uh, really lightweight brass beads. And then again, the, the faux looking turquoise. So that was cool. All right, I really, really enjoyed this one. This one has glass beads, shell, and then the pearl. Nice little stretch here. It has enough pop, but it's still subtle enough that you could wear this daytime, nighttime. I don't I don't think it would matter. I think any time would be a great one. Some beautiful clear quartz. It has a really tight little stretch, so I don't think anybody really wore that. So that was really nice too. This one, oh man, this one's got a stretch and a half. Beautiful coral, and then we have the AB, and then kind of like clear glass beads. So I'm not sure if this is commercially made or you know something that someone made at home, but either way, a lot of great pieces there. We have seen this bracelet in all kinds of configurations. Um, this is the half shell and half wooden spacers. Really pretty colors, the blues, the greens. Um, and kind of the yellow gold color really nice and then you go from the other extent and this one just has a ton of fun color you know it's sassy it's bold you know great dyed shell here and has a great feel to it it's not you know it doesn't uh, poke or pull it's just a really nice little piece then we ended up with some great plastic so this set here, these two, they're lightweight, they look like stone, but you know, you could wear this all day long. And we have this, uh, actually we had this in a couple boxes back, but in a smaller rose. So you could take these really and make a lot of other things with it. I, I just think it would be really cute as earrings. We have one of these, nice stretch. I love the beadwork. I always appreciate this because I know I just don't have the I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, but it's beautiful. This one is truly a little max mixed bag. It has plastic. It has the faux uh, amber, and it has a few of the dichroic foil beads. I mean, mm hmm, got some pretty stuff in this one. And then this, I love this one. 
you know, multi-strand and, but everything here feels kind of plastic, although it doesn't look that way. So you have the lightweight, even with a little pop of rhinestones, but nothing too, too heavy. I think that's a great alternative. Some beautiful rhinestones. We've got the, you know, kind of that garnet color and the amethyst color, nice stretch. It is just a really nice kind of antique looking bracelet. This one is snazzy. It has great, let's see if I can't get it to flip over. Here we go. It has some beautiful rhinestones. I mean, not just kind of, I mean, these are full on gorgeous and nice stretch. And I think that, mm, that'd be great for a nice evening out. And this is just kind of a gold tone stretch. We have, you know, the high polish and then almost like a mill grain look on a few of the other beads. It has a little wear here and there, but still very, very usable. Um, very fashion. Looks like copper, silver tone, gold tone. Nice little stretch. And then I think one definitely one of my favorites out of this group is this great big clamper. And it has rhinestones and the enameling and the little mill work. This is a beautiful bracelet. I don't know how well it's going to pick up being this large, but gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Had our share of most definitely boho. We have one of these in every box. I'm telling you, it has to be a law. Some form of, you know, mandatory. I think it well makes them, I really do. Uh, we have a few of the faux leather, like homemade pieces. This one looks more commercial. Yeah, it is nice open. This is an older one. Looks like leather. Beautiful beadwork with the seams. Some really nice stretch. Again, more patience than I have. Yeah, we've had this one before, except this one is in uh, much better condition than the last one we had. A few bangles. Not bad bangles. Definitely wearable. A really fun seed and wooden bead bracelet. And this cute little like, glass bead and cross. And this really big one. Doesn't look worn at all. In great condition. We also had some fun and funky pieces. I mean, who doesn't love these, right? All right, this one has the wooden beads and like these acrylic beads with paint and, you know, the little discs. I think this is just, you know, really, really fun. This one, listen, this one has some very quiet clank ability. This one is gorgeous. It has all these little leaves and the little tiny, really pop of color with these little tiny beads. This is just a really fun, fun piece. I love that one. And most of these are really long. Look at this one. And this just has like the little faux metallic, some wooden beads that are painted, you know, that bronzed kind of look. And then you end up with something like this one. This is not boho at all. It's gorgeous. I love it with these faux pearls and the fact that it has kind of like that lavender, that lilac almost cast to them and the black chain. I mean, that is gorgeous. I'm not, I, it's not boho, but I will take it in a heartbeat. And look at this one. This one just goes on and on. And these are plastic but they look like, you know, like carnelian. It has kind of an older class. So these are just, ugh. you know what? These are just all fun. This one has a remnants of a tag still on it. And 
I don't really see boho in this one either, but again, it's fun. It has these kind of, these are all plastic, you know, acrylic. We have kind of the sheen and this twist. And you know, it's just fun. I mean, what isn't there to love about that? And this kind of goes along with that same line as a few of the early bracelets did in the video. Um, you know, the faux stone and very again, easy, you know, easy to wear all day. And then we have the faux tortoise shell. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, that that amber look. Oh, I love that one too. I love them all. I really like this section. <laughs> and this one has got some wooden beads. It has these crocheted beads. I turned my light up a little. Let me see if you can't see the little crochet work on there. Again, oh yeah, I've got no patience for that, let me tell you. And then we have a few others. Let me reach for it. This one isn't boho either. Let me turn this back down. Uh, but it has these gorgeous, look at these beautiful glass beads. These are heavier, like faux, I mean they are acrylic, uh, like the faux pearls here. But we do have the glass beads. So I think what they've done is they have these be faux and the lighter weight to accommodate, you know, the weight that the glass beads would add to it. And this is a fun piece. I mean, to me, I, I'd wear that with like a 60s outfit. I mean, to me that says like, you know, uh, you're at a dinner party in the 60s, early 70s. I just, oh, I love that so much. All right, I'm on the fence with this one. I am going to say, because you know me and belts, I'm not a fan of belts, that this could go <laughs> either way that this could be actually a necklace or a belt. So depending on how you want to wear it. And these are acrylic and they have great, it's not a cat's eye effect, but it's like this floating effect. It is fabulous. These, if you don't like the composition of this, these alone would be worth ripping this thing apart and you know taking the pieces like that one. And this one here, oh man, oh man. All right, it's long too. And this copper color with all these little seed beads. Multi-strand, this thing is just, oh, it's so good. And these, I think they're supposed to be wood, but you know, they feel very plasticky. So the piece overall doesn't weigh a ton, but it has, it has the pop. I mean, look at it on the skin tone, I don't think, you know, I don't think there wouldn't be a an outfit alive that wouldn't look great all with this. Also had some beautiful pieces in the wooden beads. These have some carved beads, all wooden. And these ones have just the most beautiful color. Just look at this color, that deep color. Oh, I love that too. And this one is just fabulous. Look at this. So we have these discs that are multicolor, and then the, the shells. I mean, that, that is just beautiful. Could you imagine just that, you know, kind of with a t-shirt? Oh, okay, I'm not sure what these are. If they are that seed that they kind of slice and dye, or if these are just actually plastic. I think they're more, pl I think they're plastic. So it starts with someone had made these flowers and it looks like coconut shell. And then the little drop has wooden beads and more of these little pieces, but they don't really feel like that shell. They feel more like plastic. So we have that one. And then we have these two, this color. Look at this color. And then the dyed shell. I mean, we have these beautiful, beautiful wooden beads. All of these purple beads. This dyed shell. Look at all of these. I mean, that is statement and a half. And then, look at this one. I love this. This black is stunning. 
comes down to these ivory color beads and then the focal point on this one are these two pieces of wood. Again, oh, that would go with a lot of things. And then this one. Okay, now this one has clank ability. <laughs> Here we have a million. Look at all of these black seed beads. And then it comes down to all of the metallic pieces here at the end. You know, they're mimicked after coins. And then just that great sound. This is just a fantastic piece. So I have this one. This one feels like some wooden beads and some clay beads. Has some really nice muted tone. I think that would go with a lot of things. Really cute little wooden beads with some shell. I love this, like this deep mahogany. Oh, I love that color. Okay. The braided like faux leather and the shell. And the choker and this one. Panama Jack. And we have this. Really pretty. Like suede and these feel plasticky. A little hanging. And then we have this one with no tag. And then we have this one, but they have the same construction. And this one still has a tag. San Sol made in Honduras a fair trade wage. So those are really pretty as well. We had some great and unusual odds and ends. This older pin, it has some rusting, it has some mystery metal. And then it looks like maybe lapis, I don't know, some kind of it doesn't really have the right coloring, but kind of some inlay hearts there. Interesting. This piece is just beautiful with these gorgeous, gorgeous leaves and all of that wonderful glass. It has great construction. Very interesting. One little glass pendant, which I'm surprised made it through the shipping process. It has an adorable little blue mushroom. We ended up with a few fashion rings in this one with the faux turquoise and a really cute little, almost like a little leaf design. This one has like a barbed wire design. I think this one could be stainless. This one is a stretch and it has that great fashion, lightweight, everyday, um, nice to wear. We also found some beautiful fashion chains. This one is multi-strand. It has this great like little fringe action going on over here. And on this side it has these cute little beads. This is just a really fun piece. It just has, you know, it's quiet, no clankability here, but it has a great presence. I mean, it just has a lot going on. This is a nice one. I really like that one. All right now. We were blessed with a belt. Um, it's not bad. I mean, these are faux, like moonstones. And it's lightweight, uh, this part. But overall, I mean, it has a pretty decent little heft to it. So we did end up with that. We have a lighter weight silver tone. And this one is great because it has like the two hooked together. So you have more movement than just the chain, which is really nice. So that is silver tone, and it does have some clankability. I would have thought this would have been branded, but it is not. Nice, long, gold tone chain. Really, really nice, and so is this one. Uh, what we're finding now is that Goodwill is not only hunting for gold and silver, they're also hunting for designers. The latest and greatest thing right now up on shopgoodwill.com would be lots of just designer goods. So the boxes are becoming a little more barren of name brands. That is definitely the case here. Um, really thought this may have been, you know, a Napier or Monet's nice heft. 
has a great feel, great look, but it's unbranded. Um, so, you know, definitely more affordable. I was surprised we did find any of the name brands. This one's Chico's. This is multi-strand, multi-color. You have the brass color, the bronze color, silver tone, and it is long. Look how long this is. And hefty. If you like a piece of jewelry, you know you're wearing it. Look how much, just look how much this takes up here. Uh, this would be a great piece for you. It is hefty as all get out. And this one I'm going to try to show best I can without causing havoc again. This is Simply Vera. And if, you, if you're familiar with her pieces, they're usually very ornate with a ton of, you know, random beading and sequins and that kind of thing. And this one is no exception, except the <laughs> layers definitely want to hook on each other because of the beads that they use, but it is gorgeous. Has a lot of moving beads and little black rhodium looking dangles. It just look, it has a great look. It just, there you go, is not gonna show very well on film, but I'll get it spread out best I can, but it is a gorgeous piece. And in the realm of gemstones, boy, did we have some beautiful ones in this box. Okay. This one looks like we have some amber and maybe some prenite. Looks like some picture jasper, some glass. This one is just a you know a really nice little treasure trove here. I did not test these two uh, beads for being silver. They are not magnetic, but the clasp is not 925, so mm, you know I'm not real sure. But that is definitely one for more testing. This is so gorgeous, and it has an issue, and I'll show you in just a sec. Look at all this beautiful rose quartz. We have some mother of pearl leaves, and then some form of little red stone, which is adorable. And then we have this pendant, and it's beautiful until you really start looking at it, and it has a nice chip out of it here and out of here. So, you know, I think you can just put another cabochon in there or just take it off. I don't think it's going to really adjust too, too much the look of the, you know, overall piece. But these, you know, kind of that, almost like an hourglass look, they're gorgeous. Even if you took that apart, I think that would be worth it. We have a Shambhala style collar or choker. This has some gorgeous, carved leaves and this beautiful flower. This is just a really, really cute little piece. And this one needs a little bit of work. It has some of this, I think almost feels like crayon stuck to it. So I'm going to have to do some, some work, but this one actually looks like a true puka shell necklace. It has, you know, they're fit together. They look like they're ground down. These just aren't um, you know, pieces of shell. These look like these are the, you know, shells that they use. They marry together nicely. And some of these necklaces can be so expensive, but you can see here like this blue. I don't know what is stuck to this, but I need to do a little more work on that. This one is not actually a necklace. It is a strand of beads and it says 10 millimeter moss jasper and they wanted $12.95 for it. Those are gorgeous. I'm telling you, there was some great stuff. And then here we go with the, we have red coral. We have these, look at these little faceted red glass beads. They're adorable. And then this beautiful pendant. Just a lot of nice color here. And oh, so fitting for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. This one is a little more boho inspired with the beautiful coral. And this one has all of the little pearls woven into it. It is a very nice piece as well. A lot of nice color here. This is a gorgeous pearl necklace. And with this peach color, 
in this really nice, I'm not sure if this is just like a jasper, uh, but it's a beautiful stone. And it goes very nicely with that. Just, just look at the color, almost that pink cast. Mm, it is beautiful. And we have another shell necklace. These are so cute the way they are interwoven together like puzzle pieces. Also beautiful. And then we have the dyed howl light made to look like turquoise. It does a beautiful job. I mean, it is a stunning look. That would be just gorgeous. You know, and because it is a popular style, this is just, look at how the shimmer here of this tiger's eye and these dyed shells and it keeps going. This is a nice size necklace. Gorgeous presence. It, it's got a lot of pop. I mean, that is, and they're massive. I mean, look how big these are. These are good size, let me tell you. And then we have this one. Okay, I don't know if this is going to show up very nicely, but the, let's see if I can get it this way. You can see, you know, almost like the sun and the face with the etching. And then all these beautiful banded beads. This is a definitely um, some clinkability here and it feels very dainty but I think it is certainly more um, wearable than it looks. Okay this one has its tag and it says El Preston uh, Jewelry uh, Ginger Bracelet Chalcedony. So I believe you know all of these beautiful blue pieces then would be Chalcedony has some Baroque pearls in here and maybe some beads that are mucha light. I think like these ones here. Just a really beautiful presence. Love that. Okay, this one, oh my word. Let's get all three. It's triple strand and it has Citrine, Tiger's Eye, Amethyst, Unakite, Glass Beads. Uh, these are like a uh, acrylic bead. Uh, Picture Stone Jasper looks to be in here. So there is a little bit of everything in this triple strand. It is, I mean, certainly a lot of presence going on here. Like that too. I mean, it has a lot of beautiful colors. And it is a bigger, bolder look, if that is your thing. This one is definitely a more muted look. Has this silk type cord going on and these little round beads. It looks like we have an amethyst, uh, you know, an aventurine. I mean, just adorable. Look how, I mean, the pop of color, even though it is not a big piece. And then there's this one. Looks like a, a nicely wire wrapped piece of citrine. Beautiful on the skin tone. Nice long chain. Piece of mother of pearl. This is not magnetic. It doesn't really look like silver, but I'm going to test it anyway. On a silk cord. So that is really nice too. And then we ended up with a few very interesting pieces. I mean, they're all pretty interesting, but, <laughs> uh, but the three that I saved for the last out of this group, these look like real turquoise, and then it looks like perhaps, um, you know, the elephant, and it is very heavy, very cool to the touch, beautiful little piece, and this one, which I, with these black sea beads, and then these look like some form of you know, black stone faceted. We have the two green and then this beautiful pendant down here. So, you know, are they adventuring? Could these actually be some jade? And I ask that because the last piece, I mean, this is just drop dead beautiful. 
is this one. Now we have the beautiful cording. We have the couple of glass beads. And these look like carved pandas. Now is this a jade? I know jade is not, uh, you know, there's many forms. And then there's like from Greenland, it was like called greenstone, something like that. But this piece being as you know, interesting as it is, I think this one also will need a trip to uh, the lapidary in our town to take a look at what that really, really is. All right, now this lovely little one, oh my. Okay, it has all of these dangles and they look like inlaid lapis. And with this heart and this kind of backing, I think that pin that was in the beginning of the video, I really think it may have somehow coordinating with this thing. Uh, it does need a repair. It was missing one and here it is. It was in the bottom of the bag so thank goodness that you know it was here. Uh, it is gorgeous and if you listen it has these cute little bells so it has great clankability but it does need a little quick repair though. We have just a few more in the stone this one has definitely bigger chips and you know it it has presents look at this so it looks like we have you know lapis and quartz and maybe some tree it look at this they're bigger they have a great feel to them they have these gold tone spacers the old time barrel clasp it is just beautiful and then we have this lovely we have like ceramic beads and then it looks like adventuring and then look at this beautiful little bird is that not gorgeous we have some hematite that is a looker too and then we have this one so we have the seed beads and pearl and very you know very nice tones and a little heart closure perfect for the holiday coming up and boy oh boy did we have some gorgeous glass pieces this one is kind of a mix it has wood and glass just some beautiful beads I love, I love that color um, and you know then we've got that nice collar style but it's not really tight so I think this would be a nice easy wear and speaking of which we have this one as well this one is Leah Sophia still has the tags little extender on it too so this one doesn't have to be quite as tight but a beautiful I think it's supposed to look like a banded you know agate something like that but gorgeous clear to orange just a really beautiful bead we have that one this one is a little mix we have both glass and the two ceramic beads you know kind of beachy it just kind of says nice boho easy casual day okay this one does not this one says wow wow and wow are these gorgeous beads um you know we've got these gorgeous octagon beads and they're thicker they've got fastening on the top and these smaller beads have a floral design in them I don't know if these are like maybe uh, check beads but ooh I mean I don't think I've ever had glass beads so nice these are beautiful I say that and then this necklace comes up <laughs> Uh, I think this one took my breath away when we opened the box. Double strand. These certainly have a handmade look to them. They're a regular, you know, similar but not exact. I mean, I think these are handmade. We have the gorgeous, these little iridescent ceramic beads. And just gorgeous gorgeous honey tone cognac color and they have this pop of red when they hit the sun these mm-hmm 
certainly, yeah, those are going to be hard to let go of. This is fun. We have the same color, like the honey color little seed beads and these beautiful green cat's eye beads. I mean, they look at the movement here. Nice. These are really, really nice, too. And just when I thought we couldn't get, you know, we couldn't top anything, here comes this multi-strand. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes, and it goes. Look at all of this. These are super long, and we have beautiful iridescent beads, and these foil beads with different painting, and I think these might be... I don't believe they are dyed bone. I think they're meant to look like bone. And then we have these cute, cute, I mean, here, let me pick this strand up. Cute little tiny seed beads and little wooden beads. I mean, this is gorgeous. And not only do we have this, but we have, look here, we have matching earrings. So we have the earrings to go with this gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. And this box really didn't have too many earrings. We've got these three pairs. This one obviously is not boho, but we're glad to have them. Look at the great green rhinestones. And then the clear. It's just a fun pair. This little dainty pair is a Mark 925 on the finding. We have a glass bead. It looks like maybe an agate, a little pearl. Really cute. Uh, maybe that one could be a little carnelian, a little tiny one. Really cute little pair. And this is a fun pair. This is an articulated uh, group here. And they have the white cat's eye. Just a fun, fun little group all together. And as for the craft, not too bad. Four pounds, one ounce. Some beautiful things in here though. You know, we've got a few things missing, some rhinestones and just some things that are cattywampus, but stuff that people will make beautiful, beautiful things out of. So not bad. Craft, four pounds, one ounce. We were lucky enough to find a Kenny Ma San Francisco piece. This is the second one we have, and they feature some of the most beautiful uh, work and their little rhinestones. It is just a gorgeous piece. Not only does it have the hang tag for Kenny Ma, but it is also tagged behind uh, the center drop. And these are all articulated. I was just, ugh. Dainty and gorgeous, but everything just sparkles. That is a great piece. I love that piece. Um, something similar would be this piece. And it is not marked with anybody. It's not designer at all, but it is beautiful. It has some beautiful articulation. And, you know, it is just fun. It has kind of that copper sheen to it and the purple. I mean, that that is a great combination. I have two pieces. I'm not sure what these are. And I'm sure somebody out there will let me know. We have this one. And we have this one if they represent, you know, a root a movement, a religion, you know, something like that. But these are both very interesting, you know, with the rhinestones and then just the high polish here. This one is by 1928. And that is so, you know, like boho with the sunflower and the rhinestones are just popping off there. You know, I'm not a big fan of ribbon, but this one's actually in really good shape. And it just goes perfectly with the look they were going for, I think. And then we have this one. We've seen this before. Uh, this is goodworksmakesadifference.com. And it has that great sheen and doesn't look like it's ever been used. And this one is Rodney Commons, C-O-M-I-N-S. It says Sherwood, Wisconsin. And it is a wood piece. And it has kind of like, I think it's like a, an acrylic on it. I can't find anything on these, but it's really, really unique and different. This one I was told was from The Hunger Games. Those movies really, they're not really my thing. 
Um, but uh, the Mr. and the Little Miss watched them, so they were like, oh, that's The Hunger Games. Okay, well, we have something from the movie. We have now something from vampire movies and something from that. Uh, this says Mahogany Obsidian, Oregon. So that's kind of a neat piece, just kind of, you know, to be in there. It looks like it was on something and they yanked it off, but kind of a really cool little piece. A nice... Cloisonne bracelet in the blue and the florals. Really cute. This one, this enameled stretch, I think uh, this is by J. Crew. And I think this has never been used. Look at how just perfectly glowing that. You know, the uh, gold tone is and the rhinestones. Look at them. I love them. Okay. Then we have this piece, which I don't know what it is about this piece. I totally fell in love with this piece. It is a double strand and we have just this, you know, the black chain. And then we have, they're not really clear, but they're kind of like a smoke glass and then the black and then it has the tassel effect. I don't know what it is about this one. We had something similar earlier in the box, but this one, maybe it's because, maybe it's the beads. I don't know, but it just speaks to me like, here I am. And then this gorgeous cutie here has a tag on it. It says India, and it was $9. And ooh, is that tiny, tiny. It has a little bit of extendability here. But, ooh, you have to have a very small, very small neck. I mean, I guess you could probably wear it as a bracelet. But, oh, the work? No, no, no patience for that. And then we had some silver and a little bit of gold and a teeny diamond. Let's see if I can't get everything upright here. Okay. And then we had this. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, I have something very similar from um, the Zuni Nation here, and it's not marked, but it is really similar in that design with the inlay uh, turquoise and a little bit of, you know, there's a little red here and a little shell. And so this one's silver. This one is silver. This is a nice hefty little cross, let me tell you. And this is um, 120 14 karat over. And look at this little diamond. It's a little teeny diamond. It's so cute. And then really out of this box, you know, usually Boho doesn't have a whole lot of uh, marked pieces. We have an Alex and Ani bracelet with the Tree of Life. So that was a super fabulous find. Alex and Ani always sells really, really nicely for us. And that is the last piece of the box. Uh, it went really, really fast. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.